Oh, thank you so much. Welcome back to our second half. That was Count Basie's version of Strike Up the Band from 1927, and that featured Dave Cools on the tenor sax. So this next tune was uh, written by Buster and Benny Moten, although Count Basie, along with Eddie Durham, who were in the Moten band at the time, have disputed this. They claim they wrote it. They didn't really have any real good copyright stuff going on back then. But either way, it didn't matter, because when Basie recorded this song in 1940, it was clear that Moten Swing was a huge success for the Basie band. Now, the original featured solos by Count Basie and Harry Sweets Edison on the muted trumpet. Here's another one of those great uh, nicknames. So an important jazz standard. Here we go. From 1932, Moten Swing.
thank you so much. That featured Dave Cools on the tenor saxophone and Bob Clegg on the trumpet. Now, 1954, Basie finally got a chance to make his first trip to Europe, but it turns out he didn't like flying so much, so he enlisted the help of his good friends, Mr. Scotch and Mr. Bourbon. But he said, I really can't say that either one ever really helped me. Maybe some, not much, not enough. Basie really was a man of a few words. Uh, he was liked by everybody. He uh, wasn't uh, a huge personality like Sinatra was, but uh, man, he made some great music. This next tune uh, is a studio album that Count Basie did with his orchestra in 1983. This is a title track, and this is the last recording that Basie made with his big band. He passed away April 26, 1984, at the age of 79. So this was just uh, a few months before uh, he passed. So here we go with a tune that was written and arranged by Sammy Nestico. And Sammy is still around today. He celebrated his 90th birthday, I think, almost two years ago now. And he's still making great music. Uh, Sammy worked with Nestico for many years through the 60s and 70s. And uh, here's one of his pieces, Fancy Pants.
There you have it. That was called Fancy Pants. Get back to your spot there, you. Noel is obviously very confused because that trumpet solo belonged to uh, somebody else. That was Mr. Jim Shea, folks, on the trumpet. And Mike Colson on the trombone. No, if you're really good, you'll get a chance later on. Don't, don't feel bad. You know, not everyone gets a chance to step up there and play a solo. So another uh, one of those Sinatra quotes. And uh, I read this just uh, probably about two years ago on the Internet, but it was from an article that ran in Playboy magazine, I believe, in the 60s. Yes, there were good articles in Playboy magazine. There was articles in there. Um, but his quote was, Alcohol may be man's worst enemy, but the Bible says to love your enemy. <laughs> so it's tough to argue with logic like that, isn't it? So Frank Sinatra is in the parking lot of the top of a Las Vegas hotel, and he says to the admiring attendant, Hey, kid, what's the biggest tip you've ever been given? Kid replies, Why, $100, $100 Mr. Sinatra. So Frank replies, Wow, well, here's $200, and when people ask next time, you tell them Frank Sinatra gave it to you. Curiously, Frank then asks the kid, By the way, who gave you that big tip? The kid smiles and replies, You did, Mr. Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> True story. All right, well, we're going to welcome Cal back to the microphone right now. Come on up here, Cal. We've got a tune originally recorded by Sinatra in 1957. This is a great Nelson Riddle arrangement of a tune called Witchcraft. Here we go. See how big the lyrics are? Here? <laughs> Those fingers in my hair That sly come hither stare That strips my conscience bare It's witchcraft And I got no defense for it The heat is too intense for it What good would common sense for it do? Cause it's witchcraft Wicked witchcraft And although I know It's strictly taboo When you arouse a need in me My heart says yes indeed in me Proceed with what you lead me to It's such an ancient pitch But one that I wouldn't switch Cause there's no nicer witch than you It's witchcraft, that crazy witchcraft And although I know it's strictly taboo When you arouse a need in me My heart says yes indeed in me Proceed with what you're leading me to Such an ancient pitch But one that I'd never switch Cause there's no nicer witch than you Do be do be do Do dwee dee dwee da Do 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 be do Just wait till you hear this ending <laughs> What's that? Like what kind of an ending is that? Right, they were up all night, weren't they? I just forgot how to end the song. You know, you know the guy is making fun of Nelson Riddle. I no. mean, really, Cal. You know, obviously. It's, it's the dumbest he... ending I've ever heard. <laughs> he was probably in that cab for how many hours was he on the way to this thing? That's another song. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well. I'll that's... tell you about that in a few minutes. Yeah, so. he was drunk for this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, Sinatra, <laughs> Sinatra actually had uh, perfect pitch. And uh, when he went into the studio to record, he, uh, he never rehearsed with a band. He would show up, and the band was already rehearsed, and he would sing the song once, maybe twice at the most, and he would nail it every time. And that's just the kind of guy was. A lot of other uh, artists, they would have the band record it, and then they'd come in afterwards, and they'd be all alone and just with some headphones on. But Sinatra always recorded his albums live with the orchestra right in the same studio. So... Uh, we, uh, we loved him for that, and uh, it has been said that he had the rare and mystical ability to fascinate, Mr. Sinatra did. So, uh, and here's another one of his quotes. You only live once, and the way I live, once is enough. <laughs> so we've got another one of those here, huge here. chart busters written again by Sammy Kahn and uh, Jimmy Van Heusen. It was written for the movie The Joker is Wild in 1957. This is a great tune called... All the way. Yeah, it is. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. Oh. Happy to be near you When you need someone to cheer you All the way Taller than the tallest tree is That's how it's got to feel Deeper than the deep blue sea is That's how deep it goes If it's real When somebody needs you It's no good unless he needs you All the way Through the good or lean years And for all in between you come what may who knows where the road may lead us only a fool could tell ah but if you let me love you it's for sure I'm gonna love you all the way All the way It's for sure I'm gonna love you all the way, all the, all the way. Thank you very much. And these guys, are you any good? Thank you. What a great tune. Well, this next tune was written for the 1936 Eleanor Powell MGM musical Born to Dance, and it was nominated for an Academy Award for the best song that year. Um, 
However, there's a little bit of a story behind this, the Sinatra version of it. It was written by Cole Porter in 1936 originally, but then Nelson Riddle came up with this arrangement. But how he came up with the arrangement was Sinatra was in the studio recording with the band, and it was literally 2 o'clock in the morning, and Sinatra had it in his head that he wanted to do this song, but they didn't have an arrangement of it in the studio. So he literally phoned Nelson Riddle at home at 2 in the morning. His wife answered the phone and uh, said... He was, he was drunk writing the ending to the last song. <laughs> <laughs> To what, witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry, Maybe. Go. Sorry, go ahead. Now, and I know this is a true story because I heard Nelson Riddle tell this himself in an interview. So uh, his wife drove him to the studio. He was in the back of the family station wagon with some papers spread out writing this arrangement for this song. But uh, I think it may have been a bumpy ride, and who knows, maybe he was still drunk writing the <laughs> ending oh. of that last song. I don't know. But now you've got to figure this. Sinatra had the best musicians on the planet. I mean, these guys were the best. They took 22 takes before they could get this song right. Typically, one or two takes at the most. Like, three was unusual. It took 22 takes. So it seems to me that maybe Nelson had a few rewrites to make a few corrections yeah. somewhere along the way. So we're going to sing know. this 22 times. <laughs> so prepare yourself. You better phone home. <laughs> 3 a.m., they're still going. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a great tune called I've Got You Under My Skin. Oh, yeah. Four seasons. Yeah. I got you under. No, okay. I've got you under my skin I've got you deep in the heart of me So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me I have got you under my skin I tried so not to give in I said to myself this affair never will go so well But why should I try to resist when darling I know so well That I've got you under my skin I'd sacrifice anything, come what might For the sake of having you near In spite of a warning voice That comes in the night and repeats, repeats in my ear Don't you know, little fool, you never can win Use your mentality Wake up to reality but each time that I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. Because I have got you under my skin. Oh, I like this. They have to stand up for this. It gets so big. Brace yourself, Bridget. Sacrifice anything, come what might For the sake of having you near In spite of a warning voice That comes in the night And repeats how it yells in my ear Don't you know, little fool Ain't no chance to win Why not use your mentality Get up, wake up to reality 
But it's time that I do Just the thought of you Makes me stop just before I begin Cause I've got you Under my skin Oh baby and I like you Under my skin Yeah Thank you Cal Dodd, ladies and gentlemen, and Bill Beecroft on the trombone. Thank you. All right, Cal is going to take a uh, short pause oh, while the yeah. band uh, does oh, a few okay. bassy tunes. Okay. The last time I had a break, I, I took a swim, had a couple of beers, and rotated my tires. So this, <laughs> you've got a couple of things to play? Well, we'll, we'll play them faster. How's okay, that? Okay, good, good. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Basie in the old days didn't have many charts, you know, written down pieces of music where everyone had their own stuff. They had just what they called heads, which is jazz slang for no written arrangement, just memorized chords in a certain order. So the band is mostly improvising. And when they were at the Reno Club in Kansas City in 1935, Basie's band was called the Barons of Rhythm and were performing for regular radio broadcasts. They had never pl had a playlist and would often run out of songs before the end of the broadcast. So one night the announcer asked the Count off the microphone what the next tune was, and Basie said he didn't know. He just started playing something, and when the announcer asked Basie on the air the name of the song, Basie just kind of thought fast. He looked at the clock, and he said, it's called the One O'Clock Jump. And that's how this next tune got its name. It wasn't until years later that they actually wrote a proper arrangement for it, for what uh, would become one of their theme songs and the most famous, one of the most, ma most famous big band tunes of all times. From uh, 1937, here we go with the One O'Clock Jump. One,
o'clock. One o'clock jump from Count Basie. Well, Freddie Green was one of those uh, famous rhythm section players that I mentioned right off the top. He was the uh, guitar player. And uh, here's a quote that uh, he said at some point through that career with Basie. You should never hear the guitar by itself. It should be part of the drums. So it sounds like the drummer is playing chords, like the snare is in A or the hi-hat in D minor, something like that. And, uh, you know, it's one of the very few times that a guitar player has actually admitted that they shouldn't play too loud because usually you're telling the guitar player to turn it down. But uh, Freddie Green was a wildly talented guy. And uh, he wrote this next tune, 1956. Here's another bassy classic called Corner Pocket.
Yeah, classic bassy. Jim Shea on the trumpet. Jeff Pagin on the tenor saxophone. Carol Olson on the piano. And Noel, I'm sure you'll get your turn somewhere down the road. It's, he's so anxious. I, you got to love him for that. You know. <laughs> so here's a song that was written by E.Y. Harburg and Vernon Duke in 1932. And they set out to write about how beautiful it is in the city of Paris, France in the month of May. But somehow that just didn't have the right ring to it. So after playing around with the words and title, they came up with what is one of Basie's most loved songs. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Now, before I tell you the title, in case you don't know, you may remember a very funny movie from 1974 called Blazing Saddles, starred Mel Brooks, Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder, Madeline Kahn, Harvey Korman. Okay, so there's a scene in that movie where Cleavon Little, he's just made the first black sheriff of Rock Ridge, and he's dressed to the nines in this beautiful brown suede outfit. He's got Gucci saddlebags on his beautiful brown shiny horse. He's got a brand new shiny new sheriff's badge on, and he's riding in the desert to this song. And then all of a sudden, there is the Count Basie Orchestra right in the middle of the desert playing this song from 1955, Count Basie's April in Paris.
more times. Count Basie's April in Paris, Bob Clegg on the trumpet. And finally, Noah Methvin on kind of sort of vocals. <laughs> Noel doesn't get out much. <laughs> but then I don't think I have to tell you that. You kind of figured that one out, I'm sure. All right, well, let's uh, welcome Cal back here. We're getting near the end of our show, and uh, we are going to have Cal sing us out. And uh, this next tune was uh, featured in the musical Guys and Dolls in 1955. Anybody remember that? Yeah. And do you know, do you remember who sang this song in the movie? Frank Sinatra was in the movie. Marlon Brando. Can you imagine that? What, who's the brainiac that had Frank Sinatra, the greatest singer of all time, and he had Marlon Brando singing? He could have been a somebody. He could have been a contender. What's the matter? You don't think I can sing? I can sing. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe they told him he'd put a hit on him or something. Who knows? Uh, Oh, also, you guys remember the movie Mrs. Doubtfire? Featured the late, great uh, Robin Williams from 1993. Well, this song was also featured in that famous scene where he was given a makeover to become a woman. So here we go with this terrific tune called Luck Be a Lady Tonight. <laughs> But there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. <laughs> You're on this date with me. The pickings have been lush. And yet, before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners You might refuse to stay And so the best that I can do is pray Luck be a lady tonight Be a lady tonight Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with Luck be a lady tonight Luck let a gentleman see Oh just how nice a dame you can be The way you've treated other fellas like me Hey, luck, be a lady with me A lady doesn't lose her escort It isn't fair And it's not nice Oh, a lady doesn't wander all over the room Just to blow On some other cat's dice So let's keep this party polite Never get out of my sight Stick with me baby I'm the guy that you came in with Luck be a lady Tonight. Oh, luck, let a gentleman. 
Oh, just how nice a dame you can be. I've seen the way you treated other guys you've been with. Luck, be a lady. Escort. It isn't fair. It's not even remotely nice. Oh, a lady doesn't wander all over the room just to blow on some other man's dice. So let's keep this party. so much. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, folks, I mentioned we're getting near the end, and uh, this is actually our, our final tune. So, well, I've got uh, a final Sinatra quote of the evening for you. You can drive me home. <laughs> you. <laughs> may you live to be 150, and may the last voice you hear be mine. I love that quote. I love that quote. But when I die, I want my last words to be I left a million dollars under the... <laughs> They'll tear the house apart. <laughs> All right, well, it's appropriate we end our tribute to Sinatra and Basie with a uh, tune that became Frank Sinatra's anthem. When you think of Frank Sinatra, you think of this song. It's so fitting because it truly is how we lived his life, doing it his way. Can we have a blue spot, please? <laughs> blue. Mary, <laughs> a blue spot. One, two, three, and four. And now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway did it my way Regrets I've had a few Then again Too few to mention I did What, what I had to do And saw it through Without exemption, I planned each charted course, each careful step along the highways, and more, much more than this, I did it. There were times, I'm sure you know, when I bit off more than I could chew. But through it all, when there was doubt, 
Swing shift, big band, everybody. What a treat performing for you here this evening in this lovely theater. Thank you so, so much. Come on out here, Cal. Another hand for Cal Dodd, ladies and gentlemen. So did you wash your car? Did you wash your car or do you want to sing some more? You want him to sing one more? Yeah. One more once? <laughs> Going twice. The hat had to be worn. Somebody had to put the stupid hat on. <laughs> Baby. All right, well. Oh, gee, I wonder what this song is. Well, they may have realized that we didn't play probably one of his biggest tunes. It was from a movie that, it wasn't a bad movie. Right? It's a 1977 Martin Scorsese film. It starred Robert De Niro, Liza Minnelli. Um, yeah, it was an okay movie. And she sang the song in this. Liza Minnelli sang this theme song. But, of course, as Sinatra did with so many tunes, he had his arranger do his arrangement, and he now owns this tune. The theme from New York, New York. Here we go. I purposely did not learn the lyrics to this song. <laughs> I love it. Spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New 
York, New York. These vagabond shoes are long and straight right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep and find the king of the hill of the heap These little town blues are melting away Thank you so Swing much. Swing shift, big band, everybody. Absolutely.